coach last week, uh, Coach Biagi mentioned that Don had been in your room quite a bit this spring. I guess mm -hmm. what do you get out of those meetings with him, and I guess what do you those conversations kind of like? Yeah, uh, no, he's uh, growing, and he's um, he just wants the, the knowledge, and he wants to keep coming in. He just wants to get better. He wants to find a way to get better every day. You know, with the challenge everything part of it. So uh, that's what he's doing. Um, you can see he's hungry. You can see that he's being very intentional on the field. Um, he's working hard you know, on and off the field, so uh, been a, it's been a pleasure. And then Christian was able to get his feet wet last year. Mm -hmm. I guess, what do you want to see from him this spring? Yeah, just the next step, right? Just the next step. He's very talented. He's very competitive. Uh, so just, just seeing him growing and understanding the game is going to slow down and now just continue to go out there and be a playmaker as he is. Coach, I guess, how have you seen uh, Jaden involved this spring, uh, especially going into the first season? Yeah, um, he's a leader. He, he talks, he's vocal. Um, he's a guy that a guy that uh, challenges everybody, works hard every day, comes in with an intentional mindset. Um, he just wants to get better. So you can tell, you know, he's been around the block a lot, so he's ready to go. And then with the safety uh, position, um, mm -hmm. the three uh, kind of richer freshmen, um, Adon, mm -hmm. Luke, Mm -hmm. And then ben, I guess, what have you seen from them? And what have you challenged them? Yeah. Uh, just challenge them to now play fast, right? Um, they've been in the system for a year. Um, this is their spring to go out there and play fast and get after it a little bit. You know, want to see them take command of the back end and call out the checks and all those good things, but then slow the game down and go react. And that's what they're doing. And that's what uh, it's been a pleasure to see them do in the spring uh, through these practices so far. And Coach Biagi spoke highly about kind of your guys' relationship. I guess, how has it been getting to kind of work with him a little bit? Yeah. No, it was great. It's always great to get another guy in the back end, and uh, he's been doing good. He's been helping out uh, a lot and coaching them up. And, you know, we we got everybody in a big group now, but, uh, you know, we want, we want to continue to challenge everything. We want to de email mindset of uh, deny my man and get after it. And that's what they're doing and working hard. And, you know, uh, him echoing that is great, too. How's it been? It's been good. It's been good. Um, you know, all of it is is relationships even going even tighter and tighter together uh, with the guys in the room, and then uh, me and in there now hearing one voice with it as well. Uh, with it, you know, as before it's been separate a little bit. So they always had been a tight relationship, but now it's just everybody knows everybody and what they're doing in there and things of that nature. Coach, what have you just kind of learned about this receiver group after being here three months? Yeah, smart. Yeah, smart and competitive. Um, so I'm, I'm enjoying it, man. It's a good group of young men. Uh, they work really hard. Uh, they're eager to learn, and um, they're, they're a real joy to work with. And then you have several guys who can play multiple spots. I guess how do you kind of figure out which spot's best for them? Yeah, you know, it's going to kind of just depend on them, right? We're throwing guys, throwing a lot of different guys, seeing how much they can handle. Um, trying to find, you know, who are the top five, six guys, and then we'll put them in the positions that uh, to, to be the most successful. So um, that's what we're trying to learn over over spring ball, you know, trying to get them to learn the offense as a whole uh, to give us some flexibility to move guys around. And then, um, you know, as, as they're doing that, we'll figure out what each one of them is good at. And, uh, you know, come game day, we'll put them in the best positions to succeed. And then outside of his speed, what does Chris Mitchell kind of bring to the table? Uh, leadership, man. He's done it. You know, he's done it, and you know, he's done it at a very high level. You know, for for several years now. And so him bringing that veteran uh, presence to the room and that leadership, and you know, he's a guy that leads by example. He's not overly vocal. He's vocal when he needs to be. Um, that's been a, a real good help for us in the room. Coach, the guys like uh, Dion and JT, how do you want to see them kind of step up since they the program and they kind of get the leadership on it? Yeah, those two, man, they've done an outstanding job because those are the guys that have been here, right? They've been around. Um, they know what the expectations are. They know, um, you know, how things go around here. And they've done a really, really good job of embracing that role and leading the young guys and um, challenging the young guys. And so I'm um, very, very happy with, with that from them. But then also, you know, you, you look at JT. JT's done some things to, to really change his body around and he's moving a lot better and things like that. And, you know, Dion's done a really good job of just learning. And, you know, we challenged him and just moving him around in different spots as well. So uh, both of those guys have been very, very uh, good for us so far in spring ball. And when it comes to having a guy like Jaden Harrison sticking him in the slot and phase on him, I guess, how do you use his speed and also his knowledge since he's been also been around the game a little bit? Yeah, that's a challenge, right? And and so I think that's what we're looking to figure out through spring balls, right? You know, 
what's his role going to be? How big is his role going to be? Um, how, how many different spots can we move him to? Right? He's obviously a guy that um, has some dynamic ability, and uh, we got to figure out the best ways to use him and uh, figure out you know how many different things he can handle. So um, it, it'll be it'll be a good little project. It'll be fun for us. Coach, is there any specific progression you want to see from Mike and Cam from uh, spring practice one to the spring game? Yeah, I mean, these guys are supposed to be in high school right now. And so, um, you know, just to see them come in and just learn, 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 right? Learn how to be a college athlete, right? Learning the playbook and then continuing to learn the things that we're teaching them in the receiver room um, and then applying those things. And I think both of them have done a really, really good job, right? All high school guys that come in, they start at different levels. You know, some of them ran similar offenses to what we're doing and some of them it's, you know, it's brand new. And so uh, you try to reel them in and try to get everybody to, to get on the same page, understand the expectations of being a college uh, student, a college athlete, and then, um, you know, just going and, and applying it as we roll. Jaden, what's just kind of your mindset entering year three with Cam obviously gone to? Um, same mindset, really just continue to be the best I could be, um, continue to put God first and continue to showcase what I can do and put what I do in here out there on the field on Saturdays. And then obviously you're an intense guy on the field. I guess how does that competition in the cornerback room kind of fuel you? Oh, yeah. Um, ain't, ain't nothing new. You know, since my freshman year, I always kept the same mindset, always trying to get the job, you know, whether you – First string, second string, you always try to fight for the job, and you know you fight with your brother. So it's it's always a, a, a fun competition, but you know everybody's trying to do the same thing. And then building on that competition piece, I guess, what are your initial thoughts on the, I guess, the new, the new receiver? Um, yeah, it's it's fun having the boys out there. Um, a lot more speed, um, a lot more versatility, um, different bodies. It's, it's it's always fun having new receivers come in and give us different looks. Jaden, I guess what's it been like um, with Coach Biagi kind of taking a big goal with you guys? I know I saw um, him working a little bit today, but just kind of your impression of him so far? Yeah, we love Coach Biagi um, from when he was just special teams. So it really isn't too much new. He always was around us, um, always trying to say little things. But, it's you know, it's been fun having him in the room. And then with your kind of competitive spirit, how much do you want to kind of um, – kind of get that across to the younger guys, just kind of learning the standard and learning kind of what it means to be competitive in the cornerback. Yeah, you know, it's really about a mindset and a certain level of intensity, um, you know, controlled aggression. And when you come out with a certain level of intensity at the other team can't match it, it gives you an advantage. So that's the biggest thing and helping the young guys get that and still in them and still instill in myself so I can go out there and compete to the best of my ability. Christian, you had some success last year as a freshman. I guess what you just kind of learn going through your first comfortable season? Um, really, I learned about, like, a lot about my mindset after really, uh, really talking to my coach, Coach Mickens, uh, how I grew, like, how I'm growing right now, and, like, uh, right, like, right now, I'm just having that dominant, uh, mindset right now, just, uh, trying to dominate anybody who come in front of me, really, to be honest with you, have that confidence as a, you know, as a strong cornerback, like, a strong cornerback in a D1 college, like, it's kind of hard, but uh, I'm just, like, growing into it and everything. So I guess I have to see I can see that, basically. And then Coach Golden's defense isn't initially the easiest to learn, I guess. Where do you kind of see yourself now compared to last year at this time? Oh, I, I feel much smarter. I, I used to look like, like <laughs> I look like an idiot kind of just, like, out there. Because um, I wouldn't know the plays. Like, I know what I have. But I wouldn't know what other people have. Like, that, that was the big factor in everything. And, like, I was kind of bad in not knowing that. But now I do. Like, I know it's strong, strongly. And, like, and I have a little confidence that I could say it down to the meetings. Like, well, oh, this is what he has. This is what I have. And everything. So, yeah. And then does that just give you an added sense of comfort now? Just knowing the whole play and everything? Oh, yeah, definitely. That gives me that gives me so much comfort and just like confidence to go out there and just be like, okay, this is what I have, this is what my help is and everything. So it gives me confidence and like, you know, like stress off my shoulders. So yeah. Christian, I guess in comparison to last spring, um, how much better do you feel physically? Do you feel faster? Do you feel stronger? Kind of after having a season of uh, like a full season of strength and conditioning at the college level. Uh, I feel good, really. I feel actually much faster than I thought and everything. So from, like, last spring, torn meniscus, I didn't even play in the spring game. Like, from compared to now, I just feel, like, much stronger and better. So, yeah.
then are there any points of focus for you individually uh, to kind of go from spring practice number one to the blue goal game? Um, really, yeah, like I said, dominate, really. I have that dominate mindset against uh, whoever I go against and just ball out and do me. Basically do what God gave me to do and give the glory to him, so yeah. Dion, the room kind of changed quite a bit in December, I guess. What's it been like for you just incorporating those new guys and just getting to know several new receivers in the room? Um, it's been pretty uh, smooth, to be honest. Um, we all we all mess well pretty good. Um, you know, we've, we've grown closer since December. Um, we hang out outside of football all the time, really just building that brotherhood and that connection to trust one another off the field and we'll trust one another on the field. And then where can you improve your game this spring? Uh, being more of a leader um, as, as being one of the older guys in the room. Um, but, but besides our transfer guys coming in, um, I think it's my role to be a leader in the group and to set the standard and to do what's right. And then just your early impressions of Coach Brown? I love Coach Brown. Uh, he's a wonderful dude. He's a great man, um, great father, great coach. Um, he, he's big about the little things, the details, which is important. Um, if we don't do those little things, then the big plays you see on Saturdays won't happen. Dion, I guess being a leader um, in your position, I guess, what's your advice been to uh, I can camp uh, the two or nine moves? Um, honestly, just play hard and play fast. Um, that's one of our mottos in the um, in the receiver room. Um, as long as you. As long as you play hard and play fast, if you mess up, at least you're doing it fast. So that's the best advice I can give you. And then I guess with Coach Lando's off-season program, um, how beneficial was that for you? And I guess how how good do you feel physically right now this spring? I feel pretty good physically. Um, he took care of us um, this off-season. Um, we still got quality work in, but also not to uh, kill us too bad. Um, and I feel like the, the mobility aspect of, of Lando is something I really like, um, getting us more mobile, getting us loose um, for, for those cuts and stuff we need to make. When you spoke about um, kind of being a leader, I guess, could you describe it kind of like your leadership style, whether it's by example, by, by voice? Um, I would say mine is by voice. I'm always trying to encourage and then tell it, tell people what to do, um, what to do right. And I feel like growing into that role is just, just going more of an example route as well. What's kind of your health level right now? And I guess what's kind of the process to get back to 100%? Well, I'm feeling good right now, uh, you know, just coming out here in the spring, uh, being able to, you know, feel healthy again, uh, give give my teammates, you know, the best me I can, and being able to, you know, just be out on the field, uh, you know, being also that leader again, uh, which I'm blessed to do. And then how different is Mike Denbrock's offense than last year, and I guess is it tough to pick it up at all? Uh, I mean, it's different. I feel like with any new offense, you're going to, you know, struggle at first or you're not, not really, you know, get the core concepts at first, but, you know, ultimately it's been fun. Uh, we've been making a lot of plays. We've been seeing a lot of balls go up uh, for us to grab. So I feel like any receiver is happy about that. And then just your early impressions of Coach Brown so far. Uh, great. Uh, you know, we had him last year uh, towards the end. We had him during the Sun Bowl prep and for the game. And, you know, I think he's a great guy. Uh, uh, I love what he's doing. Uh, he, he encourages us uh, and he loves, you know, to compete. So we love that too. Jayden, I guess um, with the Sun Bowl last year, Steve getting that experience. Um, what have you seen from Steve in the quarterback room and also just the other quarterbacks in the way uh, they're competing? Uh, you know, I've definitely seen Steve uh, not only like mature as a person, but mature as a player on the field. Uh, I think he's doing great. Uh, he, he is doing great. And, you know, all the other quarterbacks, CJ, Kenny, Riley, uh, they're, they're close uh, you know, guys. So, you know, keeping the, the competitive spirit in that room and uh, just them being good guys off the field and on the field. And then from the first uh, spring practice to the uh, new goal game, I guess, what are some points of focus for you to improve individually um, within your game and also just kind of as a leader off the field? Yeah, definitely uh, this room to always improve, I would say. My speed, obviously, uh, you know, just my ability to make plays uh, deeper in the game uh, and just being that, that guy that everybody can count on. Uh, and then I would just say, you know, just keeping, you know, that competitive spirit in the room and keeping the guys close as a leader. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's been building uh, since, you know, I would say Coach Brown got here. You know, he's really pushed that on us. Uh, you know, we're, we're the only people that's going to make the run better, so we might as well compete. Uh, and it's all the new faces, the young guys, the guys that's been here, the transfers. So, yeah, we def we're definitely keeping the run competitive. Jaden, it seems like you've added some quickness in the offseason. I guess, was that an emphasis for you? And I guess, how do you kind of do that? Um, definitely, yeah. Uh, I think a lot of our um, strength and conditioning has definitely attributed to that. Um, but also just uh, kind of throwing, not necessarily throwing the thinking of the game out of the window, but um, trying to think less and play faster.
Um, I definitely think that's been a mindset that I've tried to have this um, spring and throughout this year and just being able to play fast so that um, I can dominate the way that I want to. And then just going through the ups and downs of a freshman year, I guess, what did you kind of get out of last fall? Um, just to be patient, really. Um, you know, we have a lot of great receivers in the room. Um, and all of us have the ability to um, pop off at any given second. So um, I think just trusting the coaching, um, staying the course, doing all the things that I'm supposed to be doing um, and that I need to be doing, like hydrating, recovering, um, getting extra work in when I can, um, and just trying to stay the course so that I can be prepared for when it's, not, for, for when it's my time. Coach Brown, what's just kind of his teaching style and just the meeting rooms and stuff like that? Um, yeah, I mean, he's a great coach. We all love him. Um, he's definitely he's definitely more laid back and um, relaxed, uh, but I think that it mixes well with our room. Um, I think the guys are really receptive to receptive to his coaching, um, and we all love him uh, just as much as he loves us. And so I think that really shows on the field. Um, everybody in the in the room has really been developing uh, since last year um, and making great strides. So uh, I definitely think it's part of the coaching um, and our receptiveness to his coaching. Jaden, we've got to see you kind of um, in the return man role um, during the practice. I guess how comfortable do you feel back there and how much of an impact do you think you can make? Um, yeah, I mean, I've been doing that since my senior year of high school. Um, it's one of my uh, favorite positions to play, um, just being able to make plays back there and um, change the game in that way. Uh, it's definitely super exciting and super fun. Um, so I've been loving it, um, and hopefully I'll get to see some game reps. And then earlier you kind of hinted at uh, Coach Lando's kind of strength and conditioning program helping you. I guess is there any specific um, kind of part of your game or part of your body that you feel um, kind of better equipped to take on this spring? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I definitely think uh, getting stronger is definitely part of um, minimizing injury. Um, and that's been a big emphasis um, in the weight room and then when we're conditioning is uh, making sure that we're strong enough to um, minimize our injuries. Um, and I definitely think that's been a big thing that um, we've been focusing on. And for me, at least, uh, I know that that's been a big part in this spring so far, um, and I can definitely feel the effects. As someone who can play inside or outside, I guess, where does that kind of fit into Mike Dembrock's offense? Um, I mean, I love playing inside. I love playing outside. Um, uh, I'm really just focused on uh, being that guy that uh, I can do whatever they need me to do um, just to help the team win. Um, I think that you know being able to play multiple positions is extremely valuable. Um, and I'm so, so I'm just trying to uh, be receptive to whatever they're teaching me um, and just trying to help the team as much as I can, whether that's playing slot, whether that's playing outside or uh, playing to the field, anything, whatever they need me to do. Jordan, what's it just kind of been like this spring balancing two sports? Yeah, no, nah, it's uh, definitely been a grind. You know, uh, I couldn't do it alone. You know, coaches, staff, everyone working together, kind of helping me uh, build my schedule, make sure I'm not getting too um, overworked. So that's been, that's been good. But yeah, it's been a grind, but I asked for it, so. And then just when you are out on the field, I guess, where's kind of your points of emphasis on where you want to take your game? Uh, yeah, I want to take, like, on my, in my one-on-one -on -one aspects, I kind of want to get my footwork right. Um, you know, being able to get into my, in and out of my routes faster, um, that's a big emphasis, because I can could, I could run straight, but, you know, when it comes to the, the cutting, you know, the snap down and coming right back down my stem and stuff like that, I really want to work on that. And then where have you kind of fit into Mike Denbrock's offense? Like, do you notice that there's more space on the field and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. It, it, we love that. In the slots especially, we love it because, you know, we're moving all around, you know, getting different matchups. So, you know, it's, it's like a dream offense kind of, you know. He, he loves the 11 personnel and throwing the ball, so you can't ask for much more. I guess how important are the mental reps, like, during practice like today, kind of when you're standing to the side? Um, how important is that for you and um, kind of how – big of a growth point is that to kind of get those mental reps? Yeah, it's been very important. I mean, not being able to be on the field and do the actual live rep is a, a big difference, but having those mental reps, especially with the new playbook, being able to learn it and then being able to come out and watch it and see how the guys do it, especially against different defenses too, has is, is been a big help. So it's definitely a big part of it. And then after Sun Bowl prep, um, I know you got extensive time with him, but Coach Brown, just, um, I know you said you couldn't kind of do this without both coaching staff, but just your impressions of Coach Brown and his impact so far. Yeah, no, he's an awesome guy. He's definitely helped develop my game. Even when I'm not out on the field, you know, he's taking care of me. Um, we have one-on-one -on -one meetings. He's teaching me, you know, the ins and out of the playbook. So, you know, again, without him, I wouldn't be where I am right now, so. Going through the cross and all the 
practices and games and everything like that, did you feel like it's kind of, I guess, made you better, kind of developed you a little bit more to kind of see a different game to help you out with football? Uh, yeah, it's definitely developed me. I mean, coming in lacrosse, you know, starting playing at the Division One level, there's obviously, you know, more development within the game. You know, there's there's more stuff happening when you're playing against the defense, and that directly translates out here, you know. Uh, you got uh, complex defenses that you're going against with safeties rolling and, and corners moving. So being able to read that off off the start of the play is something that definitely developed from lacrosse, too. Is it a lot more kind of mental than it is physical from the transition Yeah, definitely, definitely. Are you still the best athlete out of you and your brother at this point? <laughs> I would say so, yes. <laughs> but he, he he's coming up.